Hey guys, Edgeward here. Uh, today we're actually going to do a full loadout and setup of an Agilite K19 plate carrier. This is my Agilite K19 plate carrier and I've been using it for a few months now. I've been exercising with it and I love it. Um, the pads here on the shoulders are really soft. Um, there are things that I would change and this is why we're going to do the full setup. Now, this is the multicam one. I loved it so much. I went out and got the Ranger green version. Uh, why? You know, just like girls have a tough time choosing what to wear, so do we. So LARPers, you need to have multicam, coyote, and green. Why not, right? But um, anyway, I'll go over some stuff that I would change in this setup, uh, but not necessarily the plate carrier. I actually really like this plate carrier. So first off, I'm going to change this. Um, quick release buckle. I noticed that um, the way this is a thick pad, it is comfortable, but it is thick. I can't shoulder the rifle. My shoulders are not big enough that it come out here and it goes too far from my neck to put a butt pad here. So putting it here is good, but I have to replace it. And so Agilite does come with this is not a quick release, but it was just an adapter. So I could take this off, put this more streamlined down. That way I could put the butt pad in my rifle on. This one you see hanging is my defense mechanisms. Um, I have the same one for the green. I ordered it from defense mechanisms for a quick release uh, backpack. There are some issues that I've noticed with it while using it. And we're going to go over that and which is why I'm going to change it on my Ranger green setup. But this is a defense mechanisms G hook. Just take, we can, and there's a buckle down here. So just take that off and then you could swing the pack out. Now, because you could swing the pack out and it is a quick remove, uh, the issue that I have with it is while running, it moves around in the back. Well, duh. But the biggest problem I have are these straps. They start to move in and then they'll strangle my neck. So um, it is nice if I know I'm gonna access the pack, but I actually now like it that it's just fixed um, to the back. Uh, this one, or I'm gonna actually have a two placard system. This is, has my um, med kit in there that's over here and the uh, tools and batteries on this pocket. I will have uh, this six pack in Ranger Green too. Uh, the reason why I still like the six pack is it gives me an admin type pouch because I did have my med kit here before, but my problem was on uh, placards that are thick or even just the single ones, even though you can easily see it, there's no, not much organization here. So it's hard to just grab med stuff from a, essentially a dump pouch. Yes, it's Velcro backed uh, in there, so you can put organizers, but I I think it's just for me, it's better just to turn into an ad admin pouch where I put cell phones, notepads, uh, extra pens, what have you, paperwork uh, during a class. And then there's this front pocket. Um, I usually put my keys in there because it doesn't jiggle out. Uh, I will continue to have this, which is another tourniquet. So I actually have three tourniquets in my whole setup. I got one on my belt, one on the uh, Agilite six pack, and then another one here. So this one can be grabbed by my right hand, my left hand, and another spare. Um, I will have a knife here. Right now, this is a BR uh, Tendic um, BRT. Uh, it is a Tonto version, just because I like Tontos. Uh, and there is a Kyrdex sheath in there, uh, but I will be actually putting on my Emerson knife instead. Um, no reason whatsoever. Love both of them. I think this is just a little bit thinner. Uh, I actually have an adapter plate. So this is not, this blade tech is not sticking out. I did try it with the blade tech. It just sticks out so much. And another one I would change is um, in here, I will actually Velcro I'll put loop on this side. That way when I put it in, this back part is gonna be mollied into the 
plate carrier, which I will show you. It's not this model. And then this side will be a Velcro back. That way it could hold another placard. All right, so um, for the front, that's about all I would change. Uh, and then let, now let's go to the back. You see my secondary um, placard. This is just here, just in case my front one com uh, runs out and I'm at a competition or a class. I could rip this one off and have another placard here, move my med kit back here, and still have accessible med kits. So in the backpack, we'll go over what's in the backpack in another video, but this one moves way too much. And for the amount of weight that I put, it just swishes and swashes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna, just like Agilite has it advertised, I'm actually gonna stick it straight to the plate carrier. Something that you don't see that I did get for the uh, other plate carrier, but I got for this one too. This is the Agilite Buddy Strap. This strap actually allows you to carry a teammate um, who's down backpack style. Um, if you look at the Agilite video, it'll say how it works, but I'm actually going to put it as part of the plate carrier. I do have one in a Coyote Tan to put here, and I'm actually going to put it in the lower part of my back. But you'll see how I set it up when we set everything up. So uh, the backpack, there's nothing else I put back here. Uh, there is a hydration bladder that I sometimes use, uh, and then I could always swap this out for that. So again, uh, we're gonna go through the whole thing, uh, but I just wanted to show you uh, the things I would change. Like I said, this is a heavy setup. Um, just the mags being here makes it already heavy. Plus there's another med kit in here and other stuff. But like I said, I'm going to actually show you that loadout in a different video. All right. So let's go over what we have. So obviously the plate carrier. We got the six pack, the buddy strap, the HRT Maximus placard, the AMAP 3. This is the organizer for the AMAP 3, the pincer placard, and another spare placard. This is nice for my competitions uh, because quick, fast, uh, two rifle mags, two pistol mags, in and out, done. So this one is just another spare. But for my actual loadout, um, obviously this could still use that, but that's just more for competition. The pincer placard and the HRT Maximus. So let's get this started. Uh, we're gonna start, I'm not gonna totally fit this one yet, but let's just open this up. Mm, love new stuff. Who doesn't like new stuff, right? So, okay. Let's start with the loadout on this one. So this is the aim map. So let's start out with the loadout. So first off, like I said, uh, with my multicam K19, this one was blocking a lot of the butt stocks that I was using. So let's replace this. So in the carrier, in this admin pocket, which is pretty deep, goes all the way down to my fingers up to my wrist past my watch actually with my fingers spread fully out there's a big admin pocket inside they give you the different buckles so you got the buckles here this is mainly for the uh, amat backpack and then these right here are to change out these to a non-quick detach but i still want a quick detach on one side so we're just going to change this side so just take off the strap. This off here. Insert this one. And then we're gonna adjust that one.
wrong way. This way. I'm just going to try this on real quick. No adjustments on the cummerbund yet. Alright, so... I won't really know it till I load it out, it gets heavy, and then it starts pulling, I can figure out the hot spots. Right now this feels that this shoulder is a little low, so we're just going to adjust that just right now, and then we'll make fine adjustments later. Because uh, you won't really know the loadout until it's loaded out, so we'll just leave it at that for now. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to load this side. So I actually like, we'll move these to the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put, I'm not going to put my knife just yet. Uh, I'm going to put that in a separate video, how I'm going to put my knife. Right now we'll just focus on the K19. So I'm going to put this here and I'm going to load these out. All right, just me being silly, I actually like the pincer placard and this one. This is actually my backup one and I'm gonna show it to you, but my silliness and OCD, I don't like these color buckles. So I'll take these off. Inside the pincer placard, they come with G-hooks already. But in this case, I'm not going to use the G-hooks. It does come with the fast X buckles that you need. And for color purposes, this is the color that I'm going to use. All right. So I actually like to use the top vertical row because it lets the placard hang the right length for me because if I put this together and then put this in here I noticed that when I did it on my multicam and I do it like this and th there's one there's not much play which is nice it makes it stable but the mags are too high for my torso and I it was having a little difficult time with my short torso getting the mags out so this one allows it to come down enough that it still sits high it's not drooping low on the carrier but it's all it's enough for me to pull the mags out with ease also what i noticed too even even doing that i don't like to have an admin pocket here at this top row I like to just leave it for the velcro um, patches what have you and pretty much leave this empty because what I notice is even with the pincer placards anything even some of my velcro patches here uh, I notice that I'm hitting a lot of stuff up here so if I actually put some kind of pouch it's actually going to start blocking the mag so these come with the g-hooks I'll take those off And you just have to orient the fast X buckles the right way. That way, when you put it into the placard, they go in the right way. So for me, I noticed that 
I got to bring it all the way down. And that for these pincer placards, that allows me enough clearance that it just touches the bottom and we'll go right up there. But this is actually my spear mag carrier um, for my as a primary use one. What I mean by that is unless it's competition where, um, you know, I don't need just quick access to the mags. I actually like having this placard instead because I can put my med kit here and then my tools here, which is great. Uh, so at least everything's easy access. I don't need to access the pack unless I absolutely need to for emergencies, because in this case, the pack uh, will not be a quick detach. So um, this one, unlike the pencil placard, is not adjustable. Whatever that is, uh, length is, that's what it is. So that's why I actually put it up here because for these kinds of placards for me, where there's no adjustment unlike the AMAP or unlike the Agilite um, pincer placard, that's that's how it'll sit. Um, so, and as you can see, it just passes the bottom just a little bit. Uh, but for me, that's where I need my mags to be. So that's why I don't um, put them both together like that. Yeah, if I put them, if I set it up higher to where this one will attach here, it will mate perfectly, but at the same time too, now I'm having a, a hard time getting the mags out because for me, I'm gonna start hitting my face with it. So, what's that? And also, it gives me enough room to attach some kind of comms unit that I still have a place to clip it. All right. So next up, let's put this away. We're actually going to do the six pack. So I haven't put any armor yet. I do have armor. So here's the six pack. So some people like to put the six pack here uh, in front, but I noticed that when I'm changing placards and because this thing is the way I have it set up, the Velcro goes past. Um, this doesn't sit well because when you bring this up and for me, this is my setup because of the way my torso is, if I set it up here and leave this down here, this one will come low enough that it interferes getting in to the pocket. So for me, I'm actually gonna put it where the body armor goes. So I'm just gonna place it here first. Make sure it's even. And then I'm gonna pull this out and actually gonna place my body armor in. So there's actually straps in here that the body armor will go into and be secured in. So my plate that I like, this is a heavy plate. This is a level four chase tactical plate. This is a 10 by 12 multi-curve. Um, the reason why I like this is it's a level four. Uh, there's, it's really pretty heavy for a plate. Um, I know there are lighter ones, um, but this is about seven and a half ish pounds. Uh, so yeah, this makes the plate carrier pretty heavy, but uh, that, that's why I've been uh, training with it in terms of uh, I've been hopping on the treadmill with it, um, getting used to it. And even with all this weight, the K19 makes it so nice because it evenly distributes the weight around and the padding makes it awesome. All right. So what I did was I put the armor plate uh, in between the front uh, part of this bag and then these straps. So these straps will go in these loops. All right. And then just pull these loops until you tighten it. All right. 
and then you just make them together. There you go. So the front part is done the way I want it. Flip it over to the back. So here's the AMAP backpack. Personally, I love this bag. There's a lot of room in here. So right here, you could actually put your helmet. Um, put your helmet right here. We'll go loop over and then uh, these adjust and then you could have it hanging your helmet hanging out here um i don't do that because um i actually like wearing my helmet so i actually turned this into uh, a placard holder so in this case i just put the hooks in the fold it's pretty much a tri-fold fold again until you just get the velcro and then there you go so now you have a secondary kind of pocket in there. Um, I've never really used it as a pocket. So all I did was um, I used it as a placard holder. So this is actually the FastX buckle from the HRT. Put that up here. And then my pincer placard. Okay. And putting it there. There you go. So the outside has another placard for me. So just in case that competition or just needing a spare can do that and if ever I need to kind of hide it out that's what the cover is for all right all right so now this is a backpack setup then this is how it will come but I am actually going to put this on the back of the plate carrier. So let's not attend to that first. So these are actually those buckles that actually came. With the actual plate carrier. So they will go in these loops right here. And they'll actually buckle the backpack to the plate carrier. So let's attach these. Next one inside the backpack is actually this organizer. So I actually like this organizer, especially with my multicam one. So you have a hook here for keys. In here, there's some loops for some organization, markers, tools, whatever. You can put a multi tool right here. Um, think this is a little too fat so this might go here the multitasker put that right there but that's not where I'm gonna put it but just for size reference and then you got two zippered pockets right up there so in this one we'll just unbuckle this and this 
Uh, you can remove these. Um, I don't, and I don't want to. Uh, one, they don't get in the way uh, because once you put your plates in uh, and then you buckle this thing into the plate carrier, these really are not an issue. They won't hit you or anything like that. So I just leave them. The first time I set it up, I did leave it and uh, I took it off, but didn't really notice a difference. And knowing me, I would just lose them. So I'm just taking out the straps. They are just kind of put in through these loops here and then just blocked off. So easy to take off. And next one is this Velcro backing. Okay. Again, because I am such a loser, in the video, they'll show you that you put this one in here, which is fine. I do put that in there, but now I also put the straps. So just fold these that way, just in case um, I get picky and I don't wanna, I just wanna use the pack for whatever reason. Um, like before a class, I just wanna use the pack or before, you know, whatever doesn't matter like if I would just want to use the pack as a pack and not as a plate uh, carrier pack that's that I could just take that off everything's in here this one will go right here up in front and then close that down all right next we're actually going to attach this to the carrier so what I like to do first to make sure everything's aligned where the shoulder straps came from on these hooks there's actually straps on the plate carrier to attach it to. So first we're gonna attach that to the plate carrier. Okay, lift it up. And this Velcro will go, th this Velcro. And the ones that I installed back here, that's now the compression setup for the pack to the carrier. So you can actually compress the pack straight onto the carrier. And it gives it a secure fit to the pack, pretty much using one, two, three, four, five, six and then the velcro seven points of contact so yeah it's on there this thing is not jiggling around you don't hear it move it'll move with you so next one is i similar to the six pack i have a buddy strap um so the buddy strap is nice uh, when you have to carry a buddy or a kid out uh, so the strap allows you to orient the uh, wounded comrade, buddy, child in a backpack form. So you could actually view how to use it on the Agilite YouTube page. Um, the reason why I like it is it's, I did take a uh, class where we did have to carry someone and depending on how big uh, they are, it could be really cumbersome. So. Um, the next time I go to that kind of class, I'm going to try this buddy strap, but this will be attached to my plate carrier. That way I'll always have it and I'll never forget it. But I might actually make a video where I do it to my own kid. That way you can kind of see how it goes. So now I'm just trying to evenly put this, take this out. straps again pull them out wait goes in okay all right I noticed with the back plate 
it can actually sit pretty high. So if I pull this thing too much, I'll show you what I mean. And I did buy all this on my own. All right, so I pulled the straps inside to secure the uh, plates properly, but you can see there's still a lot of Velcro left. So I actually just pull it enough. That the Velcros will match. That way I can get full contact on the Velcro here. All right. All right. So and there we go. So now we're gonna actually gonna load out uh, the front here, uh, not the mags yet, just these two pockets. Always have a carabiner, because you just never know. And I always have a carabiner on my belt, and then on all my plate carriers. Cause you just never know when you need to hook into something. All right. So I'm actually gonna show you how I load out these two pockets here. So on this side, I like to have my tools. On this side is my med kit. Just put my patch up there. There we go. Need some morale, right? So this is a full med kit. Um, so we're actually gonna load out this one partially and then this one. Here's a boo-boo kit, literally just a boo-boo kit, alcohols and band-aids. This one will go here, just in case because it won't fit all in there. But let's just show you what's in here. So in this med kit, we have a cat tourniquet. Gloves packing uh, gauze and then um, an emergency trauma dressing. So dressing, packing, gloves, cat tourniquet. Put that right in there. Here's the bigger loop compared to the smaller loops. So here I'm actually gonna orient it this way. That way it could be easily pulled out with my left hand. Because on my right hand, on my belt, there'll be a, another tourniquet. Okay. I'll go right in there. The gloves when they orient them to the top and then the packing there and I also like to have quick clot so I just fold that up and then there's actually a little pocket back there put that right in there
There you go. Med kit's in there. All right. On this side will be my tools. I have the multitasker. We'll go in this main pocket here. There is a belt clip, so just another added security. Put that right in there. It does the multitasker does come with other heads, so they'll go right in there. And I also like carrying one of these. Um, these are like multi-size Allen wrench heads because scopes, um, different accessories on your rail system just needs that. And then I got one, two, three batteries and double A batteries. Those are the most common batteries that your electronics uh, between your helmet and your weapons will have. So that's that. So this is now my loadout for the front. And then my patches from Alpha Omega Kydex. Um, I believe I got this one. I forgot where I got this from. I think I got this one from HRT or also Alpha Omega. I forget where I got this one. And then this is my shooting team, Apex Training Solutions. They're a great place to learn from, guys. So check them out. Um, I'll put a link down below so where you can check out the classes that they take. I took two long range classes as well as a stop the bleed class with them. So great. You learn a lot. I'll learn a lot. All right. So there's my loadout. Obviously, mags will go here. Um, I, I did show uh, in another video how this same setup I put into my multicam system. So you'll see how... Um, this particular placard holds magazines, all right? So if you have any questions, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. Help me expand this channel. And uh, God bless, guys. Thank you.